Man, both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. There's no denying that this is a tremendous tag team combination. Reminds me of the old APA. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. I want to point out, it's important to mesh with your partner in a tag match. You don't necessarily have to like them, but if you're not on the same page, you're probably going to lose. When you talk about cities rich in wrestling tradition, you must have this great city, St. Louis, as part of that conversation. There's not much Finn Balor can't do in that ring. From high flying to quick kicks to submission wrestling, let's face it, this kid can do it all. Give us your thoughts about Aiden English as we watch Finn Balor. Let's get your take on him. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. The WWE Championship, it's what it's all about here in the WWE. Every superstar wants to be the champion, and tonight's match is no exception. Well, King did it again. As you mentioned earlier, there's not much that Finn Balor can't do in the ring. And you have to think that comes from years of traveling the globe, learning different styles and different ways to beat your opponent. What is he, 100 years old? He's absorbed all those different styles and molded them into his own unique style. There really is nobody else quite like Finn Balor. The kid's going far in this business. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. He gets the tag. Simon Gotch seems helpless. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Watch it. Good night. Ouch. Look at him move. What acrobatics. Yeah, but Kenny Jogo. King, you don't have to watch Samoa Joe long to realize that he's one of the hardest hitting superstars competing today. Yeah, he really has no nonsense, Cole. And at nearly 300 pounds, he's almost unstoppable. Five. Uh oh, that looked ugly. Six. I mean, and it sounded even worse. Yeah, that really had to hurt. He's seen it up. Here he comes. Oh, he's the guy to his opponent. What's he going for here? Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. A crippling backbreaker. Thinking to avoid that. To go along with Samoa Joe's hard-hitting style, he also employs a heavy dosage of submission maneuvers. Uh-oh. What are we going to see here? I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Tag. 
Tag Team Championship at stake. Which team wants it more? Well, that's the question of the night. That's the question this match will answer, Michael. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. It's not every day you see a man of Samoa Joe's size combine a hard-hitting, in-your-face style with a variety of some going for the cover. One, two. Cole, what you got in mind? When this guy's on, look out. Delivering the damage to the chest now. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Looking to be in great physical condition here, almost impervious to pain. Finn Balor's coup de grace is quickly becoming one of my favorite signature moves in all of WWE. It's so simple, yet so effective. One. Well, we're on the move here. This DDT, how's that mat taste? Man, that would make Jake the Snake Roberts proud. Three. Finn Balor making his statement as we speak. Simon Gotch turns it around. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. King, I don't think Finn Balor's upon to share the same appreciation for the coup de grace that you have. What? what? It has to be terrifying to look up and see Balor flying through the air, about to come down on your chest. Yeah, you're right. And he doesn't just come down on your chest. He really drives those feet in. Almost like he's trying to cave the chest in. English's superior conditioning is paying off here. Oh, this isn't good. Crazy move by Aiden English. Makes the cover. Two. Who can ever forget the embarrassing events of 1994 when the entire team of Shawn Michaels, Diesel, Jeff Jarrett, Owen Hart, and Jim Neidhart were eliminated all at the same time? Look at this energy from Finn Balor. Look at these moves. This is awesome. I don't know how he does it. I've been in the business a long time, and I haven't seen anyone with the energy and ability of Finn Balor. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Finn Balor. Now that's a finishing move, people. Power. I love a classic body slam. Much more of that, and he's not going to last long. This could end it in a hurry. Incredible move by Samoa Joe. I like the way you described Finn Balor earlier, King. Really? Graceful. It's yeah. so true. And, and here's a cover. Two. It looks like all four competitors are going at it. This is what I like. The referee getting involved now. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Look out! And Samoa Joe makes him pay in the worst way on that exchange. You got him hurting now, Joe. There's the finishing move. Don't know if you have anything left. Watch it! Here he goes for the win. Don't do this! Two. 
Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, out of nowhere. And it's Samoa Joe executing the reversal. Yep, Samoa Joe got things going his way now. You could call this a good old fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. This might not end well. That's a wrap. Aiden English has got this now. You can wrap things up for Aiden English's opponent. Aiden's looked great in this match. Two. Aiden English with a great offensive show. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. What an assault. This type of attack takes things to a completely different level and leaves your opponent agonizing to breathe. The traditional Survivor Series elimination tag team match is such a wild card, especially when you bring together so many combustible elements. Aiden English showing signs of life. Quick cover by Aiden English. Unleashing it for the second time now. Champ. Look, going for the cover. Two. What are the odds that we'll see new tag team champions come out of here tonight? I'm telling you, very good if you ask me. We could see the tag team titles change hands right here before our very eyes. He gets the tag. It seems the focus of this on covers. In a relatively short amount. They got it! Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Well, I don't know how you can pick out highlights from that match. The whole match was highlights. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Here are your winners and the new WWE Tag Team Champions. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I. We have the best seats in the house. It's all about wins and losses, and it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.